Alex Kais here, artist and realtor. And welcome to my living room. Like many of you out there, I'm stuck at home trying to do what work I can off of my computer. Technically, my job has been deemed essential, but I'm trying to be responsible and only going out with people who are in need of a new housing situation. And that's how I see most of my colleagues working too. Unfortunately, real estate is mostly an out and about job talking with people and looking at properties. So with most realtors and home buyers staying home, the real estate market has mostly stalled out. But there are still 1,075 homes for sale in the city of Seattle today. So let's dive into the stats. As usual, I'm combining the single family and condo market in order to get a holistic look at the Seattle housing market. But it's all topsy-turvy now, so we're probably gonna have to throw everything out the window. Anyways, let's look at the last two years of listings versus sales to see how the market would normally respond to the spring surge. In 2018, we saw the market peak in about April, that's right here, uh, with all of these new listings peaking afterwards. Uh, these are all people trying to take advantage and hop on board a hot market. But you can see that buyers were already wising up to that point and the, the number of sales starts to dip. 2019 was a lot healthier with the buyer and seller curve um, pretty much traveling in parallel. And looking at this year, it was shaping up to be quite a hot market, maybe even as hot as 2018, with these lines coming pretty close to each other. But in the last week, 39 homes were temporarily taken off the market, and that number usually sits at about one or two. That's not even taking into account the number of people holding off listing their home, which admittedly is an impossible metric to gather. We won't know the true ramifications of quarantine on the real estate market for a few more months still. So I'm starting to track all of this weekly data for you, paying particular attention to the number of pending properties, new listings, and houses that go temporarily off the market. You see, the MLS data is really laggy. If you pay attention to the number of sales, those transactions were all negotiated at least a month ago and don't reflect our current market. So weekly data should help a lot in deciding when you put your home up for sale or decide to buy. I obviously have some extra time on my hands, so I'm trying to use that to work on house projects. Yesterday, I started putting in the stair railing, and there's a thousand other little things on my list. But I have to balance making too much noise with disturbing Kendall, who's working from home. If your job is secure and you follow safe social distancing practices, Now's a great time to buy a house. Sellers are definitely nervous, and there are deals to be had, and interest rates are incredibly low. Let's look at some of this historical data on interest rates to put this all in perspective. First of all, remember that they're really volatile right now. I heard from a lender that they're quoting rates at three and a half in the morning and five and a half in the afternoon. And this is completely out of their control because these rates follow their own market. So keeping constant communication with your lender if you're working on a mortgage application. So when people are saying that rates are incredible, what does that mean? Have a look at this graph to get an idea. You can see this is kind of the past uh, 60 years of national average mortgage interest rates. And uh, it starts at 1963 at about 6%. And by the 1980s, it's climbed all the way up to 15%. So we've dropped a lot since then. 2020, we're seeing rates um, just a couple months ago, or a month ago, we saw a, a record low rate of 3.29%. And you can see by this data how incredible that is. I'm pretty sure next week we're gonna see numbers continue to drop. But a safe and healthy city is more important than a robust real estate market right now. And I'm optimistic that we'll see this correct itself once we resume our day-to-day -day lives. Just a month ago, the housing market was stronger than ever, and the job market's still really strong in Seattle, and people still need homes. If you're looking to buy, make sure you get pre-approved now and start looking at homes digitally. Most realtors are only taking people out that have been pre-approved and are really in need of another housing situation. If you're looking to sell, then get all your last minute projects done and get the house ready to go so that it can hit the market as soon as this is all over. And make sure you stay tuned with these weekly real estate data updates. Bye.